Hey, it's Chase from On The Table Gaming, and today we're gonna to take a look at the top YouTube channels to go to for battle reports for A Song of Ice and Fire, the miniatures game. Battle reports are a great way to get a sense of the game, strengthen your understanding of the rules, or pick up some more advanced tactics. Now, while you can find a wealth of resources on onthetablegaming.com in our curated list of A Song of Ice and Fire content, um, we also recognize there can be a lot to sort through. So with that being said, we've narrowed down the list for you to provide the top five YouTube channels for watching A Song of Ice and Fire battle reports at this time. Number five, Tabletop Warden. Starting our list is Yannick Burr from Tabletop Warden. Now, while this YouTube channel primarily films in German, the presentation is clear and their use of graphics make the videos easy to follow, regardless of the language barrier. Yannick has been, in many ways, an ambassador for A Song of Ice and Fire in Europe, and he brings a lot of insight into the European meta. You may find lists that are outside of your local meta, or that approach the game in a fundamentally different manner than what you might find on some of the other US-based channels. Yannick is also the creator of the Others Fan Faction, which you can find more about on onthetablegaming.com. Number four, Big Top Gaming. Brian Kerr from Big Top Gaming is a veteran wargamer with a background in competitive war machine. His battle reports are filmed and then dubbed over with his thoughts and commentary on the games as a resource tool for improving your play and understanding the decisions top players make during different board states. Big Top Gaming should be at the top of your list for study. Number three, Blitz Mini. Now, Ben from Blitz Mini has a strong presence in the Asia meta, and his videos are entertaining to watch and are a cut in a way that walks that middle line between good production value and fluid content and gameplay. Ben travels a bit, and you might catch him playing games in Singapore, his home base, or with people in Thailand, or even in the States. This is another channel where if you live outside of the Asia meta, you'll get to see some different approaches to list building. Back in 1.4, when Kingsguard were deemed unplayable in the US meta, there were Singaporean champions defeating top level opponents running them. So you might find some hidden gems or different approaches in watching his videos. Number two, Mythico Studio. Although newer to the scene than some of the more established A Song of Ice and Fire content creators, Nick and his team from Mythicos have the top A Song of Ice and Fire live stream on Twitch TV. Their interaction with the chat on the stream is great, and they have a tremendous depth of skill in their local roster, as Mythico Studios in New Jersey is the home base of the 2019 national champion Ron Krasnick. Now their production value is high, and Nick and Chris, two of the regular hosts, have a great screen presence. And you know, while their live show is one of the best A Song of Ice and Fire experiences available, the uploads of the live events on YouTube may be a little bit longer for a YouTube-only audience, but if you wanna watch them live, this should be one of your top A Song of Ice and Fire destinations. And at the top of our list, is Gorilla Miniature Games. Ash from Gorilla Miniatures Games has been making A Song of Ice and Fire battle reports since almost the release of the game, and while some other channels might bring fancier graphics and effects to their games, Ash's natural charisma and crisp editing make his videos entertaining to watch, and at this point, he really knows the game well. Ash splits his time regularly among several videos, and he's doing a great job really promoting A Song of Ice and Fire in Canada. Now, as A Song of Ice and Fire has exploded in popularity, it's been great to see more and more battle reports online, and chances are we might have missed one of your favorites. Let us know in the comments below what your favorite channels are, and we're also you know, all about community building, so please keep your comments in the positive. It takes a lot of work to make videos, especially battle reports, and if you've been thinking about jumping in to make your own videos, we say go for it. Thanks for watching, thanks for supporting the A Song of Ice and Fire community, and in the meantime, I hope you get your miniatures on the table.